What was the most outrageous thing that you saw written or said about you guys, about you specifically, about the show in general? I mean, I could go on and on that I was fired, um, you know, that there were fights, and all of that is categorically false. But listen, once you decide that you want to play in the big leagues and you put yourself out there, people are going to come at you and people are going to write untruths, and, and that's part of it. Unfortunately, it's sad to see. I'm, I work in media, and it's sad to see the media be... Um, not just toxic, but uh, so untruthful and, and and fabricate lies and perpetuate that. But listen, you got to rise above. I, I like I tell my children, you know what? Things were written about mommy that I didn't like, but the best thing that I can do right now is 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 be me and. I, the only thing I can control in that situation, no matter what's written or what's said, is my attitude. And I don't care how powerless people people want me to be, what they want to take away. Nobody can ever take away my attitude and how I choose to react to a situation. And I'm going to choose to react to situations with positivity. The problem is you have a lot of you have a lot of bottom feeders of journalism that have paid people, and people are on their payroll to to feed them stories and these stories a lot of times are categorically untrue listen i'm gonna buy a slimy magazine every now and then but i know i know not to believe everything i read but not everyone goes into it with with that sort of thought process i blame al gore who created the internet for all of our problems okay wait did he not i thought al gore invented the internet he did really that and global warming What's up, guys? I'm Juliana Rancic, and you are watching the Live from the Red Carpet YouTube channel. Subscribe today, then be sure to check out our other Live from the Red Carpet videos right here.